is micronutrients. Micronutrients are the nutrients which are required in smaller amounts, like macronutrients are required in bigger amounts, but micronutrients are required in smaller amounts. Like you need not have uh, them in grams, but you can have them in milligrams. Even then they give you profound effect. Uh, though they are required in smaller amount, but they play a huge role in uh, body functioning. So what are the micro, micronutrients? Micronutrients includes vitamins and minerals. Vitamins like vitamin A, B, C, D, E, and K. Uh, these micronutrients, these vitamins are required to maintain your healthy teeth and skin, and they help the carbohydrates to convert into energy, and they also helps to maintain brain function, especially vitamin B. And uh, vitamin C also acts as an antioxidant, and... Uh, yeah, so it is very good for your teeth as well. And uh, coming to um, fat-soluble vitamins A, D, and E, K, these are fat-soluble vitamins. Uh, we'll discuss about these things in detail in next phase. Coming to minerals, iron, zinc, calcium, potassium, magnesium, manganese, selenium, chlorine, sodium, all these things are important minerals and electrolytes that are required for body functioning. Why do we need these minerals? These minerals are again used to maintain strong bones and teeth. Uh, certain minerals are helpful to maintain blood sugar levels like chromium. Certain minerals are helpful to maintain your immune system like zinc and few minerals like magnesium are maintained, are helpful to maintain your uh, muscle like muscle relaxation and few minerals are very important for electrolyte balance like sodium and chlorine and phosphorus, potassium, uh, potassium as well for electrolyte balance and phosphorus is used for your bones. So we'll discuss these things in next slides. So basically the micronutrients includes vitamins and minerals. What are the sources of micronutrients also we'll discuss. So here we are discussing about water-soluble vitamins. Water-soluble vitamins are basically vitamin B and vitamin C. So vitamin B we get from mostly from grains. That is, a, those are present on the upper layer. Like, you know, uh, they are present on the husk of your grains. So uh, grains are very rich source of uh, vitamin B. These include uh, brown rice, uh, millets, all these things are very high in vitamin B. Vitamin B is required to nourish your ner nervous system. It helps to reduce stress levels. It helps to, you know, maintain your uh, hormones, like, you know, the release of hormones also depends upon your vitamin B levels. Uh, certain vitamin B is like uh, folic acid is very important to uh, very important for pregnant women for conception for your period health and all vitamin folic acid is very important uh, folic acid is very important for fetus development fetus brain growth and uh, and for vitamin b12 is very important for your nervous system uh, neurological communication like neuron communication requires vitamin b12 and vitamin b12 mostly we may we get from uh, fermented foods uh, sprouts and uh, probiotics like gut bacteria is responsible for production of vitamin b12 folic acid you get from all dark green leafy vegetables and nuts as well vitamin b7 and b6 are present in nuts especially uh, you get vitamin b6 in almonds and uh, walnuts and uh, you also get them from these sesame seeds and all so uh, seeds are very rich in vitamin B6, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. They have vitamin B6. They are a good source of vitamin B6. And uh, vitamin B5 is required for uh, uh, making hormones. Vitamin C is itself an antioxidant. It helps to remove the free radicals from the body. And vitamin C is present in all kinds of fruits, guava, apple, uh, lemon, all citrus fruits are very rich in vitamin C. And uh, so these are the water-soluble vitamins, B vitamins and C vitamins. Coming to fat-soluble vitamins, fat-soluble vitamins include vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. Uh, here, one more point to note regarding the water-soluble vitamins is that these are required in little higher quantities and these should be present in every meal because these are water soluble. So whenever you, uh, they get easily flushed out from your body. So if you wanted to maintain their levels in your body, 
you should have them in every meal whereas these fat soluble vitamins these are stored in fat like you know uh, if you are eating a carrot make sure you are accompanying it with little oil only then the vitamin a present in carrot gets into your body these are all fat soluble vitamins vitamin d is now considered as a special hormone as well because it is having a huge role to play in our bodily functions Vitamin D is very good for your bone health primarily, but now they have discovered that vitamin D is also very important for happy sleep. Vitamin D is very important for your muscular function. It is very important for your uh, brain function. So it is having a huge role to play. It is almost equivalent to a hormone. So uh, for your immune system, vitamin D is more important. So even in COVID studies also, we have seen people with low vitamin D levels have got, uh, you know, their immune system is very weak and suffered a lot with COVID. So such studies were also there. Vitamin A is very good for your vision, uh, for your reproduction, bone health, and to keep your cells intact. Uh, we often hear that uh, digestive tract, you know, um, dysbiosis. So gut dysbiosis in the sense the layer of the gut is not so uh, intact uh, and it leads to allergic reactions. So to keep your uh, cells intact in place, vitamin A is more important. And uh, vitamin A is present in all orange colored foods, papaya, carrot, and green leafy vegetables as well. And vitamin D, you get it from sunlight, mushrooms, eggs are now being fortified, milk is being fortified with vitamin D. At least you need 20 to 30 minutes of sunlight exposure to get proper vitamin D, provided you are not applying any sunscreen lotions to your body. Uh, so you need a good exposure, uh, exposure between in the morning times and in the evening times more than evening times exposure in the morning times is much preferable for vitamin d and when you are eating mushrooms make sure you expose them to sunlight for 15 minutes and then cook only then uh, the mushrooms can absorb the energy from vitamin d i mean you mushrooms get vitamin d through sunlight once they are exposed to sunlight only then the mushrooms will have vitamin D. And uh, coming to vitamin E, vitamin E is present in almonds. Almonds and avocado, these are very resource of vitamin E. Uh, vitamin E is very good for your skin health. It keeps your skin supple. Uh, vitamin E is also an antioxidant and uh, it helps to uh, keep your hormones in balance, like especially estrogen and progesterone balance. Uh, vitamin E plays a big role. And obviously, it helps to uh, helps in detoxification procedures as well. Vitamin K, vitamin K is very good for your bone health, uh, especially vitamin K two. Nowadays, uh, this has got a very uh, very big focus to learn more about vitamin K two. This is very good for your bone health. Vitamin K is required for blood clotting as well. Uh, vitamin K is present in all green leafy vegetables broccoli, asparagus, all these things are very rich in vitamin K. So for getting all these fat soluble vitamins to make these fat soluble vitamins more bioavailable, uh, you need to eat them along with some nuts or you need to eat them along with some uh, good oils. So only then uh, these vitamins get absorbed into the body. Coming to different minerals, see here we have big uh, class of minerals here. Calcium is very good for your bones and teeth. Along with that, it is very important for your uh, cellular influx and efflux. You know, uh, you know the uh, there are certain receptors on the cell. They open and close. For opening and closing of those receptors, calcium is very important. Um, so cellular function, calcium is very important. And chlorine is to maintain your electrolyte balance. Uh, copper is also one good mineral which is most important iron you know iron is rich in green leafy vegetables and it plays a huge role in maintaining your red blood cell count and hemoglobin count and uh, iodine iodine is present in uh, salts and sea water sea animals iodine is very good to maintain your uh, thyroid functioning so when there is lack of iodine then you end up with hypothyroidism so make sure you are having good amount of iodine. 
then uh, coming to potassium, potassium is also one of the electrolyte which is required to maintain your cellular fluid balance. Magnesium is very good for your uh, muscle. Uh, muscle relaxation so whenever you're feeling tired or whenever you're feeling fatigue or uh, tightness in your muscles try to have some handful of pumpkin seeds pumpkin seeds are very good source of magnesium magnesium is also present in green leafy vegetables the interesting fact is the chlorophyll present in the green leafy vegetables magnesium is the center atom of the chlorophyll and uh, uh, thereby uh, Taking green leafy vegetables, we get lots of magnesium as well as we get chlorophyll, which again helps in promoting uh, you know, energy production as well as chlorophyll is very important to uh, act as an anti-aging compound as well. So magnesium is uh, very good as a very good muscle relaxant. Magnesium is present in nuts, especially pumpkin seeds, green leafy vegetables. And uh, yeah, coming to potassium, potassium is present in banana. Uh, avocado is also a good source of potassium and coming to manganese manganese is also present in nuts it is also one of the good mineral for your bones and sodium is required for your electrolyte balance and uh, phosphorus phosphorus is good for your bones again calcium and phosphorus are very good for your bone strength selenium selenium is present in brazil nuts brazil nuts and pista are very good sources of selenium uh, selenium helps in detoxification so basically in one of the de detoxifying element requires selenium for their production so selenium is very important in detoxification zinc is required <clears throat> Zinc is required for a robust immune system. So to keep your immune system uh, very strong, you need zinc. Uh, zinc is mostly present in um, seafood, like oysters are rich source of zinc. Oysters and uh, remaining fish also are good source of zinc. Coming to plant sources of zinc, uh, legumes, pulses, uh, nuts are good source of zinc. Sesame seeds are good source of zinc. So definitely make sure you include all these things in your diet. So these are different minerals and their uses and their sources. Again, check your mineral content. Like, you know, you, you can find your minerals and vitamin portion in your nutritional facts. If you're buying a product from outside, check for those things in the bottom page of the, nut the nutritional facts label. Um, how do you know how many micronutrients are present in my diet? Again, you can refer NIN for uh, you know your requirement. Like according to age, your requirement of uh, minerals will change. So you can check this website. You can also go to Eat Right India website where you can again find some information about the requirements of micro and macronutrients in your diet. So read the labels carefully and make sure you are having good amounts of vitamins and minerals in your diet. Thank <laughs> you.